And we're back with more Elden Ring. Today, I want to start a quest line and finish another one. Or at least, continue another one. Remember that guy, Kenneth Height, all the way down here? Uh, clearly I do, yes. You know, it's like, oh, yes, uh, go, go, go to my, to, to my castle. I, I think it's, t I think it's high time we take a look at that. Okay. Hopefully that'll refresh my memory. We're gonna be traveling to one of my favorite places in the game, Mistwood. Let's see if I can get back on the trail here. All right. Let's go. Hi, guys. Remember, there he is, way up there. The guy standing there. Uh, it's ringing a, c a bell or two. Well, let's uh, talk to him just to make sure I do have the quest line sufficiently started. And to request to refresh the memories of uh, of my co-host and the audience, of course. Hello. Oh yeah, this guy. That guy. Yeah. All right. Dio Brando. My fort lies to the south, beyond the mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward? Fret not. The great Kenneth Height is known for his considerable largesse. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retreat. So, what's what's funny is that because Kenneth's quest was one of the ones that kind of got fixed in later updates, i.e. finished, this part of the quest line is one of the first ones you'll probably do, but finishing it doesn't happen until, like, towards the ass end of the game. Really? Oh, yeah. Just multiple steps, or...? It's, uh, it involves another quest line that takes a long time, almost the whole game, to complete. Okay. Well, already in it for the long haul. What's one long quest? Have we been to that grace yet? About to find out. I think we have been here. Yes, we have. But I'd like to rest here anyway. Okay. Moving on. Do we have some traveling to do? Uh, a little bit. So what we're doing is we're going to be taking this path all the way down through here, through the Mistwood, all the way down to his castle, right here. Okay. It's going to be dangerous. And I'm glad we have a strong enough weapon to keep us going for a while. So I played a, a little something. Oh, yeah. so Soulsy like Oh, yeah? I tried out Lies of P. I tried the demo of that, and it, it just didn't click for me. Uh, maybe I was too spoiled by Elden Ring at this point, and I haven't played Bloodborne in a good long while, but I just... I, I, I didn't take to it. I will say, I beat the first boss, and I was like, you know what? That's enough souls for me. This is one of the more obnoxious parts of the game, where you gotta follow this ghostly guy who'll take you someplace. That's a bear. So... Go ahead and talk about what lies a P. Mechanically, it's really good. And, uh, which, which, by the way, if you don't know, it's the uh, Pinocchio-inspired, Bloodborne-inspired game. That's It's Pinocchio Bloodborne, that's all I can say. It's got the gothic aesthetic down pat. Looks fantastic. Gothic is like, what, uh, 18th century Italian, you know, stuff anyway, so... Yeah, it all works. The one thing I will say, and this is very interesting to me, Hardcore Souls players were saying it was too hard. <laughs> So, uh, they dialed back the difficulty a little bit on certain bosses that, uh, definitely needed a, a slight nerf. I mean, Bloodborne is immensely difficult as it is. Some people say it's even harder than Sekiro. At least That's you, why I stopped Bloodborne. That, that makes sense. That too. That's a big bear. Do not. Do not touch the bears. What do you think? Big mama bear energy? They are rune bears. Is that one hunting for a rune in a tree? They're, or is it chasing another tarnished up a tree? They're powered by runes. They're they're insane. Hmm. I don't mean like they're insane. Dude. They're like literally mad with like they're manic bears. So when do we get to kill one? To hopefully by the end of the game. Okay, cool. Is that a quest line? They are tanky. They they hurt big. They are relentlessly aggressive. One of the most aggressive enemies in the whole game. Yes. And there's no nothing attached to him. Oh, seriously? There's lore attached to him, though. Okay, well, that's that's good. See, I was hoping they didn't just make a 
an awesome monster and not have anything go along with it. A lot of the best parts of Elden Ring can be seen on videos by Vati Vidya and Zoli the Witch. Is that where you've been getting your uh, your lore dumps that you've been enjoying? Vati Vidya, is, he uh, sort of dramatizes the lore and presents them in a in a digestible and wonderful, beautiful way. He he makes he's 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 the best in the business. Hmm. He's been doing it since since Dark Souls One and. Uh, He's doing Elden. He did Elden Ring, and he's doing um, uh, Armor Core now. Oh, just hitting up all the FromSoft games. That's a bear. The other one, the other one is Zully the Witch. Zully is a data miner in From Software games who, uh, looking at looking at certain details, you uh, get lore implications from data mining. Well, yeah, like. Uh, looking at the models, uh, t oh. taking off some of the meshes to see what lies underneath. There's a lot of cloaked enemies, what's underneath the cloaking there, you know? That's cool. Yeah, I see you avoiding that big old monstrosity. Oh. Sleepy. Sleepy. There, Sleepy. there was something coming out of that bear. Might have been a ghost. Just another player. Oh, okay, okay. Phew, all right. Mimic! <laughs> the Axe Talisman! Ooh, what does that do? I don't think it really does too much for us, but we got an open talisman slot. Might as well use it. It's cool. Uh, en enhances charge attacks. That's awesome. I think, like, maybe stuff like that. Yeah. Be my guess. Man, you're slow. I'm not saying that, like, derogatory. I mean, that's, if I that's your build. Maybe if I two-hand it. Well, that's also a fully charged R2. I gotta just... I do like the, the double swing. Seems like it could knock out a big group of enemies. I'm hoping that it does enough poise damage that it, that it hurts big, too. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, okay, okay. Ah I thought Mama woke up. Because it looks like she's, like, stirring. It's a weird way to sleep. Nope, just sleepy. I better not stick around. Sleepy bear. Okay. Make sure we face the right way, and off we go. I would love it if that whistle is what woke her up. No, 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 no. Huh. Blind the half-wolf? I didn't see nobody over there. It wasn't the bear, do you think? You don't have to kill the bear in order to talk to a quest line. Hey, do you? that looks kinda. Oh no. Open for business. Oh, don't Wait, what? I, don't mind if I do. Who's open? Are you open? Who's open? Oh, welcome. Dear customer. Oh! oh. Yes, <laughs> this way. Right this way. No, left this way. Welcome. Did that guy just cut in line? I was here first! Just push the ghost out of the way! Buy something. I'm hungry. I've been hungry so long. Please? Uh, okay. Well, would would you like a delicious here? eyeball grape? Festering bloody finger. Meat. 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 Trina's lily. I, I beg your pardon. What? What things? Uh, it's still parry shield. It doesn't have. Uh, let's let's set. Uh, let. Hmm. I do like these. I get a, like three of those. I honestly thought this was our inventory, and we were going to sell him, like sell him a shield to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, delicious. Let's get some more arrows. Yeah, a couple of arrows there. won't hurt anybody. Uh, like twenty-five. Twenty. Tw Twenty-six. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, can we sell anything? Like, do we have anything worth there's, getting rid of? Th there's no point. Okay. Not really. Like, here, here, here's how you sell stuff. You go into your inventory, you got... I don't even know if we have any right now. Okay, yeah, these r runes here. Oh, and that's it? You, you use them, and that's how you get, basically, free souls. Huh. Okay. All right, I just gotta get out of bear territory. This is bear country. We can't stop here, this is bear country. 
And then Bear Grylls comes out of the forest and goes, Hi, guys. Fear and loathing in the lands between. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Back on track. Here we go. I think there's a... Grace nearby? Yes. How do you remember this stuff? I played for a long time, my friend. Yeah, I think uh, on the main screen it's like over 300 hours. I think that's also across the PS4 and the PS5. And that also might be including when Violet was playing, but I was signed in. That's still a lot, that's my dude. That's still a lot. I love this game, and there, it's it's a massive, enormous game, too, so... Alright, it's Fort Height. This is where Kath wants us to take care of his little problem. He's got a demi-human problem, too, it seems. I see the problem, yeah. Excuse me, sir, you seem to have a bad case of the demi-human infestation. He's got a bad case of, uh, b ballista up there, too. Oh my god, that damage! We're a little over-leveled for this, I'd say. Over-leveled? I mean... We got a strong weapon. We're, we're pretty good. We uh, probably should have done this as soon as we sought Kenneth Hyde. That's like one of the first things we should do when we figure out the, the lie that we shouldn't go to Stormvale. That's a huge fucking sword. Oh my god. That's yeah, Claymore. Golden Seed. Me likey Claymore. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, was that Gollum from Game of the Year? <laughs> Lord of the Rings Gollum? Holy crap. Oh, I was out. It's Onion Knight! But, like, Demi-Human. Onion Demi-Human. Oh, alright, Demi-Humans are attacking them. Distracting them somewhat. In my favor! Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Backswing immediately attacks. Oh, kind of vibrating a little bit. It's okay. We make it work. I was on your side. I was at your side. We make it work. Look at us making it work. Ooh, we even got some greaves. I wonder if that's better than what we got now. Look at us. Who would have thought? Who would have thought, right? <laughs> All right, that increases about everything, and we're still in medium load. And increases our poise, too. Perfect. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Hi. Fort height. Are those exploding barrels? They sure are, and there's got a bunch of people throwing explosive shit here, too. Guys? Explosive barrels are right next to you. Why would you be throwing this stuff? Oh, it seems like a little bit of a health hazard over here. And they got rats. Ew. They got rats. R-O-U-S's. Do I have any flaming arrows? You thought... have, you have like those angelic arrows or whatever. I thought I still had some. I gotta pull this out once more. I got a couple. Alright, I gotta see it. I gotta see the big explosions. And... we are. Yeah! Oh, that was a lovely explosion. Oh, I guess that was up! <laughs> oh, that didn't hurt my butt! Can I... Do anything to help me out with the... Oh, well, I can do a cloth garb, but I don't like that, though. Is that a giant demi-human that was killed in this area? I, I think so, yeah. See that or a giant rat? They got a real big rat problem here. See, Kenneth Hyde is fucking pathetic. Because his men are fighting these demi-humans all by himself, and, he, and uh, he's up there like, Oh, can anybody help us? My men aren't as good as the other men I can find around, uh, the Erd Tree. Jesus. Well, I hope you liked your, uh, your, your pelvic bone, because it's kind of been obliterated. It is now Swiss cheese. We got a cookbook for more crafting stuff. I don't really focus on the crafting so much, so we probably won't be worrying about that too much. Until so, when we have to. So I know for a fact that... If I were to put, like, let's say magically, Niskel got really good at playing Souls games. You, 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 you took a week and you just marathon them all. Yeah, just, just imagine if I went through everything. I'm the type of guy who would look at every single item to figure out what they do. Problem? Extensive reading, learning, testing out different things. 
Not a problem. I'm just saying that's why it would take a long time. Oops. Nope. <laughs> Have some shield! I two-handed the shield accidentally. <laughs> I don't like how they do the two-handed toggle. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, that's right! I was like, isn't there a big guy at the top that's yeah, supposed to- Yeah, uh, there he is! Large gallant knight that made you bleed. All right, that is bleed status, right? That is indeed bleed. <sighs> oh my god. He can jump! Oh. Hello, sir. Oh! Not today. Oh, that was a cool move. <laughs> and... Yeah. <laughs> Poke him in the butt! <laughs> nice! Bloody slash. Ooh, is that a new move? That's an Ash of War. What does that mean? That means that, uh, you know that thing where he was like all bloody, he made his like all sword all red and glowy and all that? Oh, yeah! We can apply that to certain we We can apply that to weapons. Ooh, there's a thing called a twin blade. Uh huh. It's 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 like this uh, this pole. It's got like you know blades on the end of it. You, yeah, you, yeah. Like you 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 whip it around like you know Darth Maul. <laughs> you get a, you get Ash. You get uh, the blade slash on there. You've got like you know a bloody fucking Darth Maul lightsaber kind of thing. <laughs> See, I was thinking you're just flinging blood everywhere. It's like. <laughs> well, I think we're about done here. I think we've. Uh... Wait, really? We just came up here to to steal that guy's spell? Yeah, we we uh, have liberated the fort, as it were. Oh, this counts as liberation, or is just beating that guy? Beating that guy counts as liberation. Oh, okay, okay. So if we go, we go back to Kenneth Height and we say, "All right, coast is clear." He's like, "Oh, wonderful! I'll go, I'll be back right there." Oh, wunderbar! Thank you for liberating my fort. Unfortunately, I have no men that could do it m themselves. All right, one more thing. Just one more thing. Come on up here. Climbing the ladder. And he is mauled by a bear. The Dectus Medallion, the left side. What does that do? The Dectus Medallion? What on earth is the Dectus Medallion? Yeah, let me read it. Let me read it. That's da 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 do. Left half of a split medallion depicting the Erd Tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Liurnia. The right half is said to reside in Fort Ferreth and the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. Okay, so. Uh, alright, uh, so there's the Erd Tree. Okay, see the Erd Tree up there? Yeah. See how it's kept, there's like a city back behind those, uh, those cliffs? Mm hmm It's, those cliffs are tall. They're huge. We can't get up there. The only way to get up there is through the Dectus Lift, which is roughly right here. Are we gonna go get it now? We could do that, but there's also another way up. So the second half of the uh, of the uh, thing is right over here. Oh wait, yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought Fort Farrath was all the way up there. That first place you showed me. Nope. All right. Well, let's go get it. Uh, not right now. Uh oh. Okay. It's, not, it's not much important. Not important. Well, I mean, it's important to me. So now we are going to head on over back to. The Church of Ella to Church to Kala. I beg your pardon. Church on a Saturday. Come on, man. I thought he was wearing a Santa suit. That's how we call him Santa. You're back. Oh. Oh, you souls people and your memes. So, uh, at that place with the gigantic bear, there was some howling. Hmm. In the mistwood. I suppose he must still be skulking about. I know. Why not meet him for yourself? Next time you hear the wolves howl, make this signal right under the source. Oh, don't fret. There is nothing to fear. No, there I isn't. Just have an inkling the two of you might hit it off. Is it another maiden? Oh wow! <laughs> All right, so we got a gesture. It's 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 just you know, finger snap. Just garçon, garçon. Uh, all right, anything we can get here? Maybe this just for just for funsies. What does it do? Kind of zooms in on stuff. Oh okay. So a telescope. Check check the detail on things. Uh, blah 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 blah. Everything's fine. All right. Goodbye. Let's go back to Mistwood now. I missed it. I have to backtrack a little bit, but that's okay. That's alright. 
Actually, we should have talked to Kenneth Hyde and said that the coast is clear. Eh, it's all right. We'll get him eventually. You're gonna you're gonna want to talk to this guy first. The the wolf. Yes. The sound. Yes. He is uh, much important, and he will be your best friend. Best friend. Best friend. Is it a wolf? It is a wolf. Aww. That's why he's called Blythe the Half Wolf. I like it. So how specific do you have to be to get the snap correct? Alright, so... Back under here, here's the bear. So just make our way around, if I remember where he is... Oh, I hear it. Yep, there's the howling. There he is. Wait, what? Oh! Huh. Alright, so he should show up. Yeah, right there. Yeah, because he's way up there. Yeah, it should be like right there. Ooh, there's a chest back there. Huh. Anyway, over to the gestures. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch at the. the <laughs> what do you want? The wave for. What was it? Finger snap. Yeah. So. And. Right there. Who goes oh! Up? Carly sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. You're tall. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrow. Dara will? Dara will! What's the other? Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. Ah, Dara will. Dara will. Let's see. Okay. I think I know where that might be. In fact, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, here. So, what we're gonna do now. Go back to Agil Lake, Nor Lake North because that's the closest bond or grace that I can think of. Weren't there graces like directly to the left of where you needed to go? Or are we gonna go talk to Ken? We could we could do that. Just, let's let's not worry about Ken. I mean, he's not in any hurry to finish his quest, and neither am I. So, oh, I never got the chance to show these off because I know because I know so much we don't need these, but uh, these are bird's eye telescopes. Just kind of get a, a bird's eye view of the surrounding landscape. That's actually a really cool effect. Yeah, there we are right there. Hi, Oz! Just kind of get a view for what's what's ahead and what's behind and what's beneath and all that. Can you actually see enemies from this high up or no? Probably, yeah. Like, zoom in on us. I, I want to see it. Oh, yeah, there's an enemy. And we're back here. Damn, I was hoping we... Are those right next to us? Okay, they were close. They were close! Alright, so... That. Uh, next up, we are going... Here. So we'll just be following this road. Okay, you wanted to go on the road, you didn't want to cut through. Jeez! Because there's another thing I want to do, too. Okay, okay. See, it, it might look like that we're getting things going, but we're still technically getting started. Eh, I doubt that. I think we're pretty started. We have an overpowered halberd. We're bringing the Dark Souls LP back, baby! I don't think we'll be using this forever, but it is a pretty good early, early weapon. Okay, waypoint ruins. DC is the place. There's a big old flower here. This is a poison area. Oh. Hopefully this oh is the place where graces are. Oh my god! Yeah, it's that big flower doing that. It's casting like starfall on us. Fire would work better, but it won't be able to hurt us here. Really have some and that's poison, that's, that's poison. poison. That's poison, that's poison. Get out of there, get out of there. Now, down here is where we need to be, but I want to take out this Yeah, this definitely. Take out first. the flower. Yeah. That's a lot of freaking poison. Well, it's a big flower. What do you expect? 
Oh, I thought it only shot stars at us. I didn't know it actually shot poison too. Ah, that makes sense. And I think it has some melee attacks too. Oh boy. Speaking of which. Oh, I thought it was actually <laughs> about to hit you with a physical attack. <laughs> like it just goes straight up and then falls down on you. Ow. <laughs> it does. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Don't get much for it, just some poison stuff and a couple of, maybe, lore implications. Miranda powder. But yeah, big thing is what is in that, uh, that cave we were just at. Hopefully it's worth it. It is. We nearly took poison damage because of this. No way! You ready? A dungeon or a boss? Oh, that's a boss! That's a boss! It's Mad Pumpkinhead! <laughs> he's got bleed. Haven't we fought a guy like this before? Yeah, but he's a bigger, angrier, stronger version. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Ooh, you hit his helmet. Yeah, he's got a strong helmet. Oh! Ow. A little bit of Heelys there. You can't back attack this dude. Nah, it doesn't quite work like that. He, oh. He's more creature. Like, th th those kinds of back attacks work for humanoids, and if I staggered him, it could work, but... Oh, okay. It just depends on their build. He is far bigger than me. I can't go, oh, gotcha! <laughs> yeah, bring him down to his knees and then just go, gotcha back! Hey, there we go. Good job, man. Ta-da! Enemy failed. That's a lot of blood splatters around here. Everybody getting got by this guy? Seriously? He's a, he's a weak. You know, uh, <laughs> initially you'd fight him pretty early, but uh, we we got started a pretty good amount, so I think we're okay on that. You didn't want to pray at the graces. Oh. Hello. Tarnished, are we? I wonder you should turn up here. That's a. Mask. This is the Sorcerer Selen. I want to learn sorcery, ma'am. Magic. I want a magic, ma'am. I want a magic. Make me magic. I wish to perform at kids' parties. I wish to magic. Make me magic. I know I'm 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 I'm, I'm smart. <laughs> a little bit of drool goes down her cheek. So Selen was actually exiled from Raya Lucaria because she did some bad stuff. Probably black magic. What kind of bad stuff? You know, I, I, I don't care. I still want to learn. The world's fucked. Who cares if you had to sacrifice some kids or whatever you did? Probably not that, but still. You are now my protege in Glimstone Sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. <laughs> Never. Berate me, please. Just teach me magic. Look into my eyes. Do you think that I take kind words well? <laughs> please be nice. <laughs> All right, we got some uh, moves here that we really can't do anything much with because we don't have uh, a staff to use them. But we'll go ahead and grab Glintstone Pebble. That'd be okay. Maybe uh, Glintstone... Uh... We'll get the arc. And I can't use the Crystal Barrage, so that'll be okay for now. Bye! Thanks, Ellen. She's got her own quest line, and it inter intertwines with other people's quest lines. We'll be back. We'll talk with her a whole lot. I do enjoy that she gave you a nodding and satisfaction expression. Yeah. Mm, yes. Hmm. Yes. That's yes. good. Very apt. My oh, esteemed you. apprentice. See, you made me smarter by teaching me magic, and therefore I shall use the smartness on you. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Now get the fuck out. Alright. Couple more things I gotta do before we say goodbye for today. Da, da, da. Fight some more flowers. Uh, we gotta go... God, here. look at all those dots on the map. <laughs> I love it. All those different waypoints. Excuse me, but just, uh, just come right by here, Escusi! guys. Excuse me! Excuse me! Ow! Uh, you set me on fire! Dicks! I'll take your stuff, thanks. I had a bunch of wandering nobles. Just like my boys. My Ashen boys. Oh, okay, I thought you were about to say, uh, like, the good boys. He's like, no, 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 no. Ooh, another one. Wow. Might as well. 
you see a grace, you should probably go for it. I wonder if there is a Elden Ring player out there who has done this game graceless. That's probably an easy run for a lot of these people. Oh, really? Oh, sure. Like, no level ups, no nothing, just a level one playthrough, beat the final boss and all oh, that? Oh, sure. Forlorn Hound Evergale! The man that uh, Blythe is looking for, he said he escaped nearby. Well, he ran over here, and he came up here, and he's trapped here. Let him out. These are special little mini-bosses. You don't have a whole lot of, uh, like, if you die, you'll probably respawn nearby. So it, it's, it's not too bad, just a neat little challenge. But in this case, it, ex it extends the quest line because we can actually summon Blythe to help us! <gasps> Sweet! Oh, this is awesome! Yeah, I was hoping we could bring this guy along. Darrowell. Rotting in a cell is no true justice. No. This is where it ends for you. Blythe is big on loyalty. He's he is best boy. He is a good doggo. He is very loyal to his master. Darrowell is in this jail because he was a traitor. He and was a bad boy. Oh, he looks like it. He is fucking fast! He's basically the same as that misbegotten. That Lee and the misbegotten we fought uh, a couple episodes ago. Jesus! Alright, get him, get him, get him! Shit. Oh, oh! oh. oh. See, I'm strong, but his, uh, he is too, he is very fast. Yeah, wicked fast. Actually, teleporting around wicked fast. So did you see that? We we can revive at a state of Mer a stake of America. That means that at the cost of not being able to visit a Grace for whatever reason, you can just come back here, which is nearby to where you died. Okay. Some may say that's oh, that's being too easy on the player for a Souls game. I think that's great design for an open world game. I mean, also there's Graces right here. Yeah, but imagine if we die, we have to go all the way back there. But now here, we can just we can we can keep going, hit the wall again, and keep on trucking. I will say that is merciful. Maybe that's the name of the game, merciful. Mercy. Yeah. What's up, man? Nothing in a cell is no true justice. No. This is where it ends. He's gotta be smart here. I gotta let Blyde do a lot of the work. I was about to say, yeah. Blyde seems to know what he's doing. I'm not saying you don't know what you're doing, it's just he's actually getting a lot of good hits in. I'm saying he's gotta de-aggro him. Yeah. And that's, gone. that's how it's done! We got Blood's Hound, Bloodhound's Fang, that's actually pretty good. Compared to our halberd, or just in general? Well, I'm about to try it out. I don't know. I, I forgot if it's a sword or a dagger or whatever. Yeah. But what are the stats on it? Let's see. Yeah. Check it out real quick. Now hold on, Blyde. We, we gotta take so, a look what, at this. One second. I got a new toy. <laughs> and... All right, Falchion. Uh, there it is. Bloodhound's Fang. I don't hey. have the. I don't have the strength or dexterity. So this might be a little bit later. But yeah, let's. Oh. That's just the the crappy version that we can't handle right That's now. That's fucking sweet. All right, we'll keep we'll keep this one in the back pocket. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. We're still getting a lot of use out of uh, that halberd. Out of the halberd. That was so awesome. It even jumps back so you don't get hit. All right, Blight. What's up, man? Dead is repaid. Right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. The somber smithing stone. It's for upgrading weapons. Oh yes. I should say. If you venture north to Ray Lucaria and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side, tell him I sent you. And he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. Blacksmith. It's up on the north. D That's enough chit chat for now. Wait a it's minute. Oh, I know what he, oh, I know what he means. All right. Huh. That's enough chit chat. This time we part. Yeah, it's time we parted ways. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what he means. Go away back up here to Smithing Master E.G. Oh, really? I'm glad you know where we're going. 
Ooh. Litter. Oh, this guy. It's kind of you to speak to me again. Just then taking in some so light reading. Their purpose. More or less. Hey, I talked to, to Blythe. Brave, tarnished. This territory won when the Raya looked wait, after wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, wait. Because I thought so anyway. Unless you wish to. Yeah, Blythe sent me. Blythe actually did that. Did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate. Is it because it looked like Mark Twain? You're friendly with Blythe. I've something else that might suit you. That tree is just having a bop right now. So now we can purchase the Carrion Filigreed Crest. Lowers Ooh. FP consumed by skills. Well, we need to grind a little bit. Do we? Let's see. Give me a second. Tori, get down here. Maybe you can probably use that, perhaps? Never mind. All right. Ah! One more and we got it. I'm gonna use one of these now. Eh. There. Something else. I want the cool thing. That's that's pretty good, especially for the build that I'm trying to go for. I like that better than the charge text. So there we go. Oh Yay. yes. Oh yes. It might not seem like much, but uh, from run to run, from flask to flask, it does add up. All right. That about does it for this episode of uh, Elden Ring. Next time we're gonna look more into Blythe and his quest line, and take some place that's really going to make you shit your pants. Trust me. <laughs>